Happy Frugal Friday to you! Today's video is all about liquid eyeliners from the drugstore, specifically the pen ones, the ones that look like this. And I went through a number of different brands, testing them out over the past, I don't know, five or six days to find out which are the best and which are the worst. So before we get into the video, I have to put a little bit of a disclaimer out there since I may ruffle someone's feathers. The reviews that I'm sharing within this video today are my opinions and my experiences with each of these products. Everyone's skin is unique and different, thank goodness, because none of us would want to be a cookie cutter. So what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. So please understand that, that this is from the perspective of an oily skinned gal living in the Florida heat. When I'm looking for an eyeliner, I'm looking for something that is highly pigmented, is very easy to apply, has a great applicator tip, will not smudge, will not flake, will not transfer onto my lids, and what else is the other thing? Oh, it doesn't feather or bleed. I really hate that. And this is an example of an eyeliner that does feather and bleed, so you can see what I'm talking about. This is actually the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, and it is horrible for feathering and bleeding. So those are the qualities that I tested each of these eyeliners against. First eyeliner on our list comes from Rimmel Scandalize, and this is their Precision Micro Eyeliner. It is $5.79 in the drugstore. It applies very easily onto the eyes. The applicator tip is great, very fluid. The pigment is very black, not gray at all. One swipe of this eyeliner, it shows up instantly. I did experience a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of feathering on the inner corners of the eye, but it wasn't dramatic. It was enough where I could work with it and it wouldn't ruin the look, if that makes sense. This eyeliner wore extremely well throughout the day. It did not flake, did not smudge, didn't move a bit, and it did not transfer onto the lid. Next up is Maybelline's Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in Black, and this is $9.79 in the drugstore. This applies so smoothly, very easily, so pigmented. It has a rich black application and the applicator is really nice also. Unfortunately, I'm very sad to report to you that this eyeliner smudged on me within the first two hours of wearing it. I almost wanna say the first hour of wearing it. I had smudges on the inner corner of my eye. It also flaked and the flake transferred up to the top of my lid. Not happy with the way that this one wore. And you know, that happens with a lot of Maybelline eye products for me, so Maybe, oh, drop that one. Maybe there's something to that, I don't know, but Maybelline just doesn't seem to work well with my skin. CoverGirl's Bombshell Intensity Liner in Pitch Black, and I was a little hesitant to try CoverGirl's Liquid Eyeliner, simply because a lot of CoverGirl products have disappointed me in the past, but I kept an open mind. This is $8.99 in the drugstore. Unfortunately, I could not get this eyeliner to show up on my lash line. Everything I tried, I could not get it to show. It applied very light gray, no pigment whatsoever in this eyeliner. But the funny thing is, is if you swatch the back of your hand with it, it shows up pitch black like it should on your eyes. But no matter what I did, I could not get it to apply that way onto my eyes. This next eyeliner is from L'Oreal. It is their Super Slim Infallible Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This is $7.99 in the drugstore. It applies very easily, so smoothly, does not drag against the lids at all. The applicator tip is very soft. The pigment is a rich, deep black, no layering whatsoever to get this eyeliner to show up on the eyes. While this eyeliner did not smudge or transfer onto my lids at all throughout the day, unfortunately it did crack on the inner corners of the eye and started to flake there. And I believe I had only been wearing it for about five hours when it started to do that. Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner, and this is $6.99 in the drugstore. You can find Jessie's Girl products in Rite Aid stores, and someone had mentioned you can also find them in some Kmart stores, but you can also find them online on their 
website if you don't have access to Rite Aid or Kmart. This liquid eyeliner applies very easily. It does require a little bit of layering to get the black pigment to show up, but it doesn't take too much effort. This one stays put all day. It will not smudge, it will not flake, it does not transfer onto the lids, and it's one of the few liquid eyeliners that I can do a winged eyeliner look with perfectly. I don't know why, but there is something about this pen that makes it so easy. Next up is NYX's Super Skinny Eye Marker in Carbon Black. This is $9.49 in the drugstore. The applicator tip is very thin, making it easy to control, very smooth application. It's one of the few liquid eyeliners that I tested in this round of testing that created smooth lines with no jagged edges, and that's very important for me particularly. Pigmentation is very black. It doesn't need any layering to get the product to show up, and it doesn't feather when you apply it either. Unfortunately, this eyeliner did smudge on me within the first two hours of wearing it, and it smudged on the inner corners. Didn't transfer onto the lids after I had worn it all day, didn't flake, but it did smudge which I really hate that. That's really disappointing too for NYX. I had higher expectations for that liquid eyeliner. Next eyeliner up is from Physicians Formula and this is their Eye Booster in Ultra Black. This retails for $10.99 in the drugstore so it is one of the more expensive ones in today's review. This one applies a little less pigmented than I would have liked for it to. I did have to layer it onto the eyes to get that pitch black pigment to show. I did have a little bit of feathering on the inner corners of the eyes, but I went back over it with the eyeliner a couple times and it helped to fix that feathering so it wasn't completely noticeable. This one wore pretty well throughout the day. It didn't smudge and it didn't transfer onto my lids, but unfortunately, this one came off on the inner corners of my eyes. I don't even know how it was possible, but it actually had disappeared by the end of the day completely. There were no flakes or anything like that. It just wasn't there anymore. Next eyeliner comes from NYC, and this, that's not it. Where is it? There are so many eyeliners here. There it is. It's the NYC Hot Hot Definition in black. It should be black. All of these are black. And this one is $3.99 in the drugstore. This applies pitch black. It has extreme pigmentation, very smooth and easy to apply. And I'm very happy to tell you that this one was the lowest, one of the lowest in price point in this entire video. And it did not transfer, it did not flake, and it did not smudge. It was exactly the way that I had applied it at the beginning of the day at the end of the day. So very happy to tell you that about this eyeliner. The last eyeliner that I reviewed is from Jordana and this is their Fabu Liner in black. This is $1.99 in the drugstore. It is the cheapest liquid eyeliner out of all of the ones that I reviewed for you today. Unfortunately, this eyeliner has the most horrid applicator I have ever experienced. It is scratchy and it is rough. It tugs really hard against the eyelids and it actually made me not want to apply it. It hurt actually to apply this eyeliner and you shouldn't have to be in pain when you're applying a liquid eyeliner. Pigmentation was also not that great with this eyeliner. It did require several layers several hurtful layers for it to get it to show up on the lids. And not only was it not great in application, but the lines looked so jagged because it was so hard to apply. So they weren't smooth like a liquid eyeliner application should be. And unfortunately, this one also smudged after five hours of wearing it. So bad liquid eyeliner all the way around. Unfortunately, in this case, you get what you pay for. And now that we're at the end of the video, I will let you know which are the best and which are the worst. The best eyeliners came from Rimmel Scandalize, Jessie's Girl, and the NYC Haute Definition Liner. And surprisingly, those were actually the cheapest ones, with the exception of Jordana, out of the entire lineup. And the worst ones, again, my opinion, came from Maybelline, 
CoverGirl and Jordana. So those would be the ones that I would recommend staying far, far away from. As always, if you have a different opinion than mine on any of the liquid eyeliners that I shared with you today, you are always welcome to share your opinions below and your thoughts on each of these also. And if there's an eyeliner that I didn't include in today's lineup that you think is the bee's knees, I hope you will share it with all of us down below also. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Happy Frugal Friday to you. <laughs> you know I have to record the intro like five times before I get it because it's tradition. There is so much lip gloss on these lips, I'm not going to be able to put them together. They're going to be flying apart. Oh.